and uh, my story is is such that you know right now there's no bigger drug that can give me the high that I have standing here before you. You know, last year on this very day, I was sitting in rehab, and my one of my roommates is here, which is great to see the support. You know, I was sitting in rehab, lost, really confused, hopeless not knowing how I got to where I was, and really, worst of all is I didn't know who I had become. But there was one thing that I was absolutely certain of, and that was that I was willing to do whatever it takes to assure that I would never go back to that life that I was just living. You know, lonely, hopeless, suicidal, depressing, and it was just weeks prior that I was living that life. You know, I didn't care how many tears I would have to shed, or how much pain I would have to suffer because I knew that there were no amount of tears, there was no amount of suffering that would ever be compared to what I endured while living in that cynical life of addiction. I had no choice but to get better, slowly but surely, bit by bit, day by day, and I soon found what become my therapy of recovery, and that was writing. Before I knew it, I had the framework of a book put together entitled Stop Thinking Like That No Matter What. You know, pretty much everyone around me in the community I was in, in the rehab, friends, family, <laughs> thought I was crazy and delusional, and understandably so. You know, I was a few months sober and now I'm here trying to write a book and change the world, but I knew that something different was going on and that I was going to make a difference. And my mission became very clear from that point on. It was that wanted to finish this book no matter what, prove to all those that are still suffering, all those around me, all those looking for any type of hope and inspiration that anything is really possible. Didn't matter how far down I was, I was how far I'd fallen, didn't matter how lonely you may be, how hopeless you may feel, and certainly doesn't matter where you are today, just know that you are absolutely never alone and that you too can start a new life at the snap of a finger. There is nothing that can stop a determined mind, and I realized that real quickly during my recovery. I realized that this was so much bigger than myself, my journey, my recovery, much bigger than the book, Stop Thinking Like That. What I realized, it was about the epidemic as a whole that this nation is facing right now. And I realized I was part of something much bigger than life itself. My mission grew, and it grew to prove to those struggling out there and those around me that they can still live out the life that you've always dreamed of. You can still find peace, you can still find love, and you can still find happiness. And do not let anyone ever tell you otherwise. I stand up here, I stand up here tonight as physical proof that hope is never lost. That anything really, truly is possible, no matter what. For those of you, for those of us who have lost loved ones from this horrible, horrible disease, just know that they might be gone, but they will never be forgotten. We carry them within us, inspiring us to fight this epidemic on a daily basis. Do not ever give up on those struggling. Do not ever give up on the addicts. If I had been discarded, then I certainly wouldn't be standing here right now before you all. I wouldn't have this opportunity and this chance to do whatever it takes to spread that hope and that inspiration that so many desperately need and that they deserve. We are a nation that's coming together to fight and to battle this addiction. But please make no mistake about it that one person can make a difference you're staring, staring at one here before you. I thank you all very much.